I'm Anthony Barnett. I'm the co-director of the Convention on Modern Liberty. Why am I doing it? Britain has a problem. It started before New Labour, before Labour came into power, uh, but it's got a lot worse since. And it's, <clears throat> it's not that there aren't good people uh, working for uh, the government who mean well, although beware of people who mean well and want more power. Uh, and they've done, they've done some very good things. They've got, there's a mayor for London, there's a parliament in Scotland and in Wales. They've done the Human Rights Act, which will protect the, uh, the vulnerable from abuse. I was uh, reading this speech of Gordon Brown's. Well, you might say, what kind of a poor person are you reading the speech of a politician? But that's wrong, because actually the press, the way the media reports speeches is dreadful. And if you've got a Prime Minister who can write paragraphs and does type his own and does read books, then often if you read their speeches, they can tell you something quite serious for yourself. You can feel it directly. And this was a long speech on liberty. And it went on with all his quotes from Milton, 16th century, uh, 17th century poet, and J.S. John Stuart Mill, the 19th century liberal. And I admit my head was starting to nod off. And then, what's this? He started talking uh, about identity management. Now, I've met Brown, and I sort of know something about him. And this, I looked at it, I thought, this is PowerPoint. Uh, uh, the, the corporate thinking has taken over the brain of the Prime Minister. And when he was talking about uh, identity management, this wasn't somebody saying, look, what we are today what kind of people we are, our freedom, our liberty is there, out there, you know, in YouTube, it's out there in electronic media. We must protect our liberty in new ways. Now, it wasn't about that at all. It was saying, we will start, we, the Prime Minister and the State, will start to manage your identity for you. Thank you very much. Uh, and so I started to look into this, and there's, an, there's you know, very considerable documents, millions of pounds, quite openly, spent by the government, what they call the Transformational Government Programme, which, which ID cards is simply the tip of a big iceberg of, of state control. And what struck me was also um, that nobody was reporting on this. It's not been debated in Parliament. Uh, there's no scrutiny of this process. Uh, and then... then um, David Davis walked out of the House of Commons. You may remember this. There was a vote on whether people should be kept uh, in detention for 42 days by the police without charge. And I, I feel very strongly about this because I looked into it and six people had been kept for 27 days without charge and three of them were released as completely innocent. So this isn't about holding uh, terrorists for longer and then charging them. This is actually about the police using those powers to hold people that they just want to round up. And it's a kind of the beginnings of, of collective punishment and internment. Uh, and when uh, Davis, David Davis, who was the Conservative for Shadow Home Secretary, felt very strongly, rightly, about this, and when the vote was lost in the House of Commons, which should never have been lost, and most, if it had been a proper free vote, it wouldn't have been lost, he walked out and he said, 42 days, the database state, CCTV surveillance, and Parliament isn't working, and he tried to take the issue to the people. And then the Roundtree Trusts, who I knew and been working with, came to me and they said, we want to try and bring this to the attention of the wider public. Can you help? And I said, OK, I'll, uh, I, will, I will certainly try and help with that. And I talked then to Henry Porter, who was working with The Guardian and The Observer, and we started to put an ad hoc uh, group of people together to, to have this uh, convention on this whole range of issues. So what it's about really is it's a wake-up call. We're trying to, we're trying to make a, uh, an alarm call to people uh, about what is happening. And that means that I also want to say, don't look, don't look to us for the solutions. Don't look to the alarm. Look at the fire. Look at what is burning. Look how widespread it is and try and do something about that. So we want to help to enable people to take on these issues for themselves 
and to become part of a much wider convention which takes back our liberties and reconstructs our freedom so that they will work for, for uh, this, this day and age. There are new powers. We, can't, we don't need to be frightened of them. I'm sure we can win this one um, because what the government is doing there, just their, their, their degree of incompetence and stupidity is not to be underestimated as well as the fact that what they're doing is very dangerous. So I think we can win this one, or rather you can win this one. If you come on board, think about these issues, have these arguments, they're very, very interesting, and then try and take action so that we can establish modern liberty in this country. Thank you.